Hello, Low Skill Camper here. In this short chapter of my King of the Hill tutorial, I'd like to tell you what to do if you want to win the game as a team. If you are not familiar with the basics of King of the Hill game mode, I recommend watching my previous tutorial video. Now, what should you do? You can be inside the priority zone, where every player counts for two. If a lot of players start getting in and holding positions, it is very difficult to beat them out. Alternatively, you can concentrate on killing enemies who are inside the priority zone, while being either inside or outside yourself. Each kill effectively decreases enemy count by two, which helps a lot. If you are very good and you can kill a lot of players easily, you can kill enemies outside of priority zone. The best option here is to camp an ingress point for the most dangerous enemy team. Using launchers against ground vehicles and helicopters can help you a lot. There are more complicated ways to help your team, like for example camping a road which enemies have to cross to get from their usual landing zone to the priority zone. I will be covering some of these moves in my future tactical videos, but it is impossible to cover everything, so use your brain. Arma is one of the rare shooters where brain is more important than reaction and accuracy. Sniping from outside the AO is almost always useless. To be more useful than an AFK farmer hiding in a bush or in a building, you need to kill about one player every two minutes. This accounts to about 70 kills in an average game. In my experience, snipers usually kill roughly from 10 to 40 enemies throughout a round. Now let me tell you about reviving. Many players often use reviving mechanics inefficiently. You should wait for a revive by teammates only when you are sure it is safe to revive you. If your revivers will have to find and kill someone before reviving, it is almost always faster to respawn. And you should not try to revive teammates who are not safe to revive, or when reviving will force you to lag behind the priority zone. Some players do not even tell teammates how they died or is it safe to revive them. These ones clearly deserve to be ignored. A classical scenario of losing control over priority zone. One or two players die a bit behind the priority zone. They cry for help. Most of the team stays to try to revive them. The bodies are camped by enemies and more players die. Most of the time everyone dies in the end, respawns and have to fly from the base anyway, after losing a lot of time and points. But even if the effort succeeds, a big portion of players is now far behind the priority zone which is most likely controlled by the enemy by that moment. Smoke grenades should be used smartly. Use them to revive only if you clearly know from whom are you masking the area. Using them by default even when nobody is watching have an opposite effect of attracting enemies to your effort. Thanks for watching. I am planning to make separate videos with tactical advice, character builds and more. And the next one will be about effective player progression. Consider subscribing.